Hi guys, I recently came across a video of Mr. Alex Tech where he presented a method how to use the emoji tables which are present in the Windows and Apple operating systems. His approach was to use these emojis together with text messages as we are used to from our smartphones and tablets. But actually these emojis are ready-made icons that you can use for many other purposes. Hit the Windows key and the dot key and you get an emoji table. In the Edit tab you can use that uh, with no problems uh, if you have a text uh, node. But I was interested uh, to know and to use these icons in Fusion where I could use them on a track and move them dynamically, which you cannot do in the Edit tab. So I was looking for a solution on the net but didn't find any. So I sat down and uh, tried to find a solution myself and uh, this is the outcome. You have to go to Effects and first of all get a text node and put it over your clip. Then you go ahead and change the length of the text node according to the clip underneath. Now select the text node and close effects. You can open the inspector now and you see this is the basic title which is automatically put in there. I delete this basic title. Now I hit the Windows key plus the dot key and here we go. This is the emoji table where you can actually reach hundreds of emojis and these emojis just cover just about any human feelings. <laughs> so in my opinion it is very valuable, valuable to have these um, emojis and use them accordingly in Fusion. I go ahead and choose this one first and there it is. I can close now the emoji table and the inspector and here we go. We have it on the timeline. But now we have to get it into Fusion. And how do we do this? Right click, make it a compound clip and call it, I call it icon. Now let's go ahead and go to the Fusion tab. Here we are in the Fusion tab. We have our icon but not our clip yet. So I go to Media Pool and input my clip. On this clip I'm going to be using the smiley. Okay, this is the footage. We can easily confirm this by hitting the one. Okay, I rename this one to footage. Closing media pool again. Now I have to somehow connect these nodes. Like so. I have the footage now. I have a merge node and I have my media out. And this is what I see on the media out. But as you see the footage is on top which I don't want. I want the icon on top of the merge. So I click the merge, hit Control T and voila! This is in the foreground now. I click on Media in One and I cannot use, as you can see, I cannot use any positioning in here. So I have to insert a transform node after the media in node. So now I can go ahead and move my icon out of the way first because I want to do a track first. The clip shows a door which is moving and I want to put this icon 
right in the middle of the door. How can we do that? Footage selected, I hit Control Spacebar and look for Surface Tracker. Click Surface Tracker, click Add and it's going to be inserted at the right position since footage was selected before we did so. Now the Surface Tracker is set for input and we set the bounds of the Surface Tracker first, like so. One, two, three, four, that's a surface. Now I go ahead and try to make this a little more rectangle and here we go. We can go ahead and use track now and click track forward and backwards. And now Resolve is doing its thing. Looks good. I hit the play button and check if the track sticks to the background. Okay, to me this looks pretty good. We go to results and now we have to connect the icon to the track. How do we do this? We take the output of the icon to the input of the surface tracker and by using the transform we can use the position and the size of the icon. It's right there. Size it up a little and it should be okay now. Let's go ahead to the media tab. Which is what we wanted. Now we can go ahead and render out the clip and use it somewhere else. So in preparation of this video I produced four sample clips and uh, I urge you to check out uh, Mr. Alex Tech's video. The link is in the description below. Hope I could tell you something new. Thanks for watching and goodbye.